Lesson 5, Kaleidoscope, Reading, Page 63. You are going to read a play about an emperor who asked his wise men and women to invent useful things. What sort of things do you think they invented? Narrator, it is said that the great emperor of all emperors once called for all his wisest and cleverest people to gather at the royal palace. Wise men and women move in and gather around the emperor. Trumpet fanfare. Emperor, wise sages, I wish you all to go away for ten years and invent useful things. Whoever invents the most useful thing of all will win 3,500 chocolate biscuits. They all move off enthusiastically, talking and making plans. Inventors could act out designing and constructing various inventions. Sign carrier enters with sign. Ten years later. Narrator. After ten long years, a queue began to gather outside the palace of the great emperor of all emperors. One by one, the people were asked in to show the emperor their inventions. Palace Sage, number 247. Emperor, and what of your invention, old woman? Inventor 1. Kneeling at the feet of the emperor, I have invented a windscreen wipers for spectacles, your highness. Emperor. Excellent. Very useful for when it is raining. Not a prize winner though, I am afraid. Inventor 1. Shuffles off. Palace Sage. Number 248. Move along please. Inventor 2. Crouching at the feet of the Emperor. Great Emperor, I have invented square tomatoes. Emperor. Very good, old man. Most useful for putting tomatoes into boxes, but not a prize winner, I am afraid. Narrator. The inventions just kept on coming and coming. Ten years had resulted in some very creative thinking indeed. Palace Sage, number 356. Inventor 3, holding our inventions up for all to see. Great Emperor of Emperors, I have invented a pencil that sharpens itself. Emperor, I like it. Very useful when you are too tired to use a pencil sharpener, but not a prize winner, I am afraid. Narrator, one man had invented the kaleidoscope. Inventor 4 hands his kaleidoscope to the palace sage, who then hands it on to the emperor. Emperor, what's this? Inventor 4, you look through it. Emperor, it's a telescope, is it? Well, I'm afraid that telescopes have already been invented. Hard luck. Goodbye. Next. Inventor 4. It's not a telescope, but you do look through it. Emperor, what's the point of looking through something that looks like a telescope, but isn't a telescope? Inventor 4, you look through it, then you twist it and move it and before you know what's what, you find yourself saying who or on another day you might look through it and find yourself saying ha ah. and I have to tell you this, sometimes people find themselves saying who and ha ah all the time. Emperor, but what's the use of that? I ask for inventions that are useful 
not for some stupid little things that makes you say funny noises all the time. Thank you and goodbye. Next. Inventor 4. Just try it. Emperor, crossly. Oh, if I must. Narrator. So the emperor picked up the kaleidoscope. He twisted it and turned it, moved it and he looked through it. And when he saw all the colors of the rainbow glowing there and when he saw all those patterns changing over and over again, he said, Oh! Twisted the kaleidoscope. Ah! Uh. Looking physically at the kaleidoscope. Yes, it's very nice. But what's it for? Is it useful? Inventor 4. If you think about it, it's very useful. People travel all over the world to look for things like the Grand Canyon or the Eiffel Tower so that when they see them, they will say, Who and Ha! With this invention, you won't have to move out of your chair. All you have to do is carry the kaleidoscope in your pocket. Emperor, very good point indeed. Hmm. Inventor 4, whenever you feel like a quick who or a quick ha, you take it out. Look through it, twist it around a bit and there you are. Narrator, but the great emperor wasn't listening. He was too busy looking through the world's first kaleidoscope and saying, Ooh and Ah. Later, much later, the man received his promised reward. Palace Sage exits and returns with a huge box label. 3,500 chocolate biscuits. Palace Sage, there you go, your prize. It's 3,500 chocolate biscuits, freshly baked in the Empress brand new, fan-forced oven. A play by Mark Cathew.